Off the coast of Victoria, a startling sight. Smoke rising from a vessel. So they're fighting the fire as we speak, trying to put the fire out. I'm not sure exactly how long or if they even have the capacity to manage a, a fire of this, this size. As you can see from the ship in the background, there are a lot of containers. A fire broke out this morning in damaged containers on board this ship while it was anchored in Constance Bank. The Canadian Coast Guard received a report about the fire around 11 a.m. A Victoria Station lifeboat is nearby to act as a safety vessel and assess the unfolding situation on board. But this ship is missing quite a few of its containers. Just yesterday, the same MV Zim Kingston vessel had about 40 containers go overboard after encountering rough weather west of the Strait of Juan de Fuca. The waves are quite large uh, and these vessels are trying to navigate and you know, do some maneuvers to you know, successfully cut through the waves as safely as possible. And you know, if you're getting waves from all over the place, you might have some of that hit you know, broadside and could knock some of those containers off. Meanwhile, the Canadian Coast Guard is monitoring the drifting containers and it issued a navigational warning for vessels in the area. Looking out from Clover Point, it is not clear at this time if there are any injuries on board. One of the risks of fires on ships like this is the fact that it's very hard to put the fire out because they are in big steel boxes, the shipping containers, and it's hard to get the water inside the container and the heat from the container can spread to other containers. The vessel traveling from South Korea was ultimately bound for Vancouver, but as of right now, it remains in Constance Bank.